welcome back to my channel. I haven't vlogged in a very long time. If you've been following my channel, I'm a first time mom. So that's why I took a break. I have a lovely, adorable six month old baby boy. It's funny because someone actually commented on one of my like gender reveal videos and they said, is this your second boy? I thought that was kind of funny. I only have one boy and I am just soaking it all in. I have a video that by the time you watch this one, it will already be up talking about newborn essentials. And so if you wanna check that out, I will leave a link to it down below. I just did a little over a mile. I'm trying to get back into exercising and working out. It's been a struggle postpartum. Whew, it's, um, it's like a whole another obstacle that I am just kind of battling every day. I'm about to hop on our bike here. We just actually bought this not too long ago. It's specifically called the Schwinn IC4 bike and I'm gonna hop on this real quick and chat with you guys. So much to update you guys on. I have so much that I wanna talk about with being a new mom. It's gonna be more of like day in the life of a new mom. Everything that I'm juggling with trying to get back into the swing of things. Little one takes frequent naps and they're very unpredictable as far as how long he naps for. Sometimes he'll nap for 40 minutes other times he'll nap for an hour or more. It's just hard to kind of predict how long he's asleep for and what sort of task I should start depending on how much time I have. So trying to work right now is a little, a little bit of a struggle, but I'm trying to do as much as I can because I do enjoy my job and I like talking to people. And right now I'm doing mostly like marketing for our team and our listings right now. It's been interesting because, um, you know, my job requires a lot of time generating leads and generating new business. So I spend quite a bit of time doing a lot of prospecting activities and that takes a lot of time and effort and energy that it's just uh it's just tough to balance right now but i will get into that more throughout the video and i will finish this workout and i'll chat with you guys soon Oh my God, guys, I'm such an idiot. I set my camera down while I was biking and as I set it down, it just fell down. And now I have a broken camera, so I have to fix it. Um, oh my God, my shirt is so dirty. This is mom problems with some spit up on there. So now I'm filming on my iPhone, which is not the best, but I don't know, we'll see. I hope that I'm able to fix the camera. I've got a little one with me in the back. Okay, we're going. I decided to come to um, Hobby Lobby just to check out some of their fall decor because little one isn't gonna go down for a nap until another hour. So decided to come out of the house for a bit and get some fresh air. So we're gonna go check out some of their fall decor and I'll bring you guys along with me. Okay, if you guys haven't yet been to Hobby Lobby, you must go now because they have an insane selection of fall decor. They had a huge sale going on. Everything was pretty much 40% off and they had such a nice array of different fall bakeware. I love these spoons with the little pumpkins on the top. They have so many different little tiny wooden spoons with different fall decorations on them. I loved their selection of different fall mugs, which you'll see coming up here in another clip with little tiny cute gnome 
mugs as well. Really happy to see place settings. These are great for your Thanksgiving dinner along with these wooden trays. And I love these pedestal tables. They create a lot of height on your table. And I love these wooden cake pedestals as well. They had such a nice selection of table runners with different fall prints and patterns as you can see here. They had some really cute fall napkins. I love the dog print and I love this print as well. I think my favorite was these fall leaves and they had different colors. It just kept going on and on. They had so many different fall napkins. As you could see, they had so many different colors, which was really fun to look at. Next up, they have these really pretty vases, which I actually have one of those already in my house, but I ended up getting another one for my dining table. They also have such a huge selection of fall candles. They have flameless ones, they have scented ones. So definitely go check out Hobby Lobby for their selection there. These cute little turkey picture holders, whatever you wanna call them, they're so cute. And the collection of, oh my gosh, pumpkins that they have is insane. Like you will not find a store that has more pumpkin decorations than Hobby Lobby. And again, they have a sale going on right now, 40% off, their prices are amazing. I never really noticed that they had fall mats at Hobby Lobby, which I was really pleasantly surprised to see those, as well as these decorations that you can place on your dining tables, a ton of different fall wreaths, really pretty different colors that they had and different options, which I was happy to see as well. They have a ton of different fall signs that say pumpkin patch, that say hello fall on them different paintings and artwork that you can put on your wall. I actually have one of those give thanks already as well as a welcome fall sign, but I love their collection, so I think I have to go back. And the selection of artificial flowers and artificial fall plants that they have is stunning. So I'll just leave you with that. I'm gonna have to go back and get some more stuff because I was so inspired. Hobby Lobby was insane. They had so many fall decorations. It was like aisles and aisles of fall decor and I ended up purchasing a small little centerpiece for our dinner table, nothing crazy but I did get a lot of inspiration. Now we're out for a quick walk. Little one was down for about an hour and a half, which gave me enough time to finish editing a video. And that is up already on my channel. Also, I was able to hop on for like 15 minutes or maybe even less on a team call that we had this morning, but then little one woke up and I had to feed him. I would love to get back into the swing of, like I said earlier, like just prospecting. And I have a lot of leads that I wanna follow up on and it's just been tough. It's been, it's hard. Um, how do moms do it? The only reason why I would wanna get some part-time help is so that I can focus more on my business because I do enjoy it. It's more so for me to have a balance between taking care of him and also fulfilling my desires. Get, just kind of getting back to 
feeling like the old me again. And that entails career, my physical well-being, my emotional and mental well-being. Never thought that I would be interested in getting back to work. I really didn't. I honestly thought I would be fine with being a stay-at-home mom. And I think I can do both. I think I can be a stay-at-home mom while also being a successful real estate agent because I can work literally from anywhere. I can work from home. I can set my own hours. But with his nap schedule being the way it is right now, it's tough. So I think maybe as he gets a little older, into once he gets into like some sort of a program or pre-K or school, it'll be a lot easier for me to, you know, to work. Postpartum has brought on a whole slew of different uh, challenges. No one really talked about these things. I'm dealing with hair loss. I am dealing with oh, the struggles of weight loss. It's like that in and of itself is just a whole separate video that I can talk about. It's kind of a gloomy day here as you can see. We just had a storm, quote unquote storm. Uh, but that was what, just like a day? So I feel like that was it and now we're gonna get back right into the heat of summer and I'm just so, so ready for fall. I'm ready for my fall drinks and some pumpkin spice latte. I'm ready to take my son to the pumpkin patch for the first time. I just washed all this celery. And if you don't know, this is the one thing that I drink every single day. Freshly juiced celery and that helped me shed gosh 20 pounds something like that 15 20 pounds i have a video all about it on my channel i'll leave a link down to it below but um this isn't the best celery it's still kind of dirty um i usually don't get this kind of celery from the store i usually get like a bag of already washed celery from costco but i have all my washed celery here this juicer is amazing i'll leave a link to it below I've had this for five years almost and it's amazing but yeah i'm still juicing it makes me feel really good makes me feel hydrated and i get a lot of nutrients vitamins minerals and this has literally been helping me keep my headaches at bay so i just did all of that washed some bottles and now I gotta wash this one solder stick that's still kind of dirty. Just did almost two, just under two miles, and it feels so good to get out back into running. Been feeling a lot stronger and a lot quicker since six weeks postpartum, that is for sure, especially because I have dropped significant amount of weight since giving birth. Also wanna quickly show you guys my outfit because I'm obsessed with these shorts from Target. I ended up buying like three or four different ones. It's like this leopard print and they have this one, I think in like a purple shade as well, but I wanted this color because I wanted a pop of color for the summer and just I like green I do like purple too the purple one is cute it's just the leopard print is not as like it's not as like high contrast and I got this color I got a blue and I got just like a basic black one and then this shirt I think is just like from Walmart really comfortable um, I do love the all in this is so this brand from Target I think it's called all in motion so comfortable it's got like this drawstring type waistband and i like it because it hits like right under my belly button it's not super high waisted and i also like the fact that it's not super short either this shirt is i think just from walmart but i do love the all in motion t-shirts 
So I'll leave those down below. Running for me has always been the best form of exercise. And I, I never used to be a runner, but when I dropped the most amount of weight that I've ever dropped like ever in my life, which was a couple years ago in 2018, I believe, I dropped like 20 or 25 pounds with of course the combination of drinking celery juice that helped a lot. Like I picked up running and ever since then, like I can't give it up because it just is the best kind of overall body exercise. It just tones up my entire body and helps me shed fat and weight so quickly. Although right now it hasn't been like, the weight is not like coming off quickly by any means. It's a very slow, progress you are like working out or doing any sort of like exercise whether it's high impact or low impact I have found the best sports bras and I've tried so many different ones and I'll leave my favorite ones down below I'm wearing one of them right now and it's great because it's supportive and as you know postpartum everything is just bigger heavier and you need that support for your exercise and workout. I have to run with this because I play music and I put my phone in here and it just wraps around my waist. It's got several different pockets. You can insert like your phone, doesn't matter what size it is. My husband also wears one of these and he's got the bigger iPhone, like the biggest one and it still fits in here. So love that. Little one has been down for uh, 30 minutes now. So that should give me enough time to shower, get ready, and take you guys with me on another day in the life because every day is different. So sad, you guys, about my camera. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but one side of the lens is kind of tilted in. I don't know if you can really, oh, there. One side is like tilted in. I don't know if I can fix this. I'm gonna have to either YouTube it or maybe just it's maybe not salvageable and I have to get a new lens for this. And this is like not a cheap camera. A couple things in the house that we need to fix and it's a whole nother story. Our washer is broken and we gotta replace some windows and I'm just gonna relax, take a deep breath. We'll figure it out, drink more water. Um, And get ready for the day. I'm pretty sure Coffee Bean brought their new fall drink, their pumpkin spice latte, which I'm super excited to try. Although I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure that they have it. I saw it online and let's just hope that they have it. I have a little man with me back there. He woke up from his nap and we're going out. We're going to do a little bit more window shopping and browsing for some fall decor. So I think I'm gonna go check out Home Goods and I'll bring you guys along with me. But first, I'm gonna order my drink and I'm going to try it with you guys and hopefully they have it and hopefully it tastes good. I don't think I've ever had coffee beans pumpkin spice latte before. Do you guys have the um, pumpkin spice latte? Yeah, which I saw hotter ice. Oh, can I get that hot please? Hot, and what size? Can I get a small? All right. And can I get that decaf? Decaf, you got it. Does that come with sweetener? Yeah, so it's gonna okay. become with vanilla powder, which is like basically just the base of the drink, and then um, pumpkin syrup. Gotcha, okay. Maybe if you could do like half the amount of sweet sweetener. Yeah, half sweet, you yes. got it. Yes, awesome, thank you. Yay! They have it. Mm. I would say compared to Starbucks, this one has a lot more nutmeg and clove spices coming through. I actually think I like this one more. Mmm, really good. He just woke up from his nap. He took like a two hour nap this morning, which is great for me because I was able to do a little bit of work. I'm gonna feed him some breakfast. I gave him some milk right now. His breakfast is in here. This is some coconut yogurt, some white peach, and a little bit of oatmeal. He has been really good about eating solids. He's just, 
<laughs> he's just staring at me right now. Um, he's so cute. I was thinking about maybe taking him to the library just to get out of the house. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you guys like this type of video and you want to see more mom content and I will see you in the next video.